to another video. In this one, I will talk about optimal hedge ratios. Look, let's say that you have an asset for which a futures contract actually exists. What do you do in order to hedge the value of your asset? You go short in the futures contract. Basically, you're selling the futures contract. You are fixing the price at which you will be selling that asset in the future. Therefore, your risk is gone. You know exactly how much you get for your gold, for your silver, for your corn, for your soybeans, or whatever. Of course, if, you, if the value of the futures contract corresponds to the value of your asset. But think about a stock portfolio. Let's say that you have created a very carefully chosen portfolio, uh, which is custom made. It's custom made by you, for you, for your investment needs. Um, a futures contract for that portfolio clearly does not exist. So what do we hedge with? We hedge with an index futures contract. We hedge with an S&P 500 index. How do we do that? Well, for that, we need to find an optimal hedge ratio. And this is the optimal number of contracts, the hedge ratio for your stock portfolio. What is this? This is your beta. How aggressive or defensive is your portfolio? This is the value of your portfolio, and this is the value of a futures contract. So, let's say that my portfolio beta is 1.5. And let's say that the value of my portfolio equals $1 million. Okay. And let's say, just for the sake of simplicity, for the sake of simplicity, the value of a futures contract equals $100,000. The textbook makes it a little bit more complicated than that, but I have chosen very, very easy numbers. So basically, how many of these contracts do I need to sell in order to eliminate risk of a $1 million portfolio? You'd think that the answer is 10, but that's not true. Let's plug it all into the formula. So my optimal number of contracts is one and a half times one million divided by 100,000. The answer is not 10. The answer is actually 15. So why is it that I need to hedge a $1 million portfolio with one and a half million worth of futures? Because my portfolio is one and a half times as volatile as the market. That's the reason why. Now, what if I do not want to completely eliminate the volatility of my portfolio, but I would like to reduce it? So let's say that instead of having a zero beta, instead of completely canceling it out, I want to have a beta of 0.75. In that case, I sell seven and a half. I sell seven and a half uh, 
futures contracts. Now, what if, for some reason, I believe that the market is going to do great. I believe that the market will be awesome, and I want to actually increase my uh, beta here from one and a half to two. In that case, I will actually need to buy Two, three, four, five, six. So that will be 0 0.5. I will need to buy five contracts. Okay. So if I want to eliminate my volatility completely, I hedge my one million uh, portfolio with one and a half million of short futures contracts. Why? Again, because my volatility is one and a half times the market. If I want to um, increase my volatility, actually, if I believe that things are going great, I actually am going to buy, to commit to buying even more uh, contracts, and I will this way increase my portfolio beta from one and a half to two. Thank you very much, and I will see you in my next video.